Hi there. I'm going to explain to you guys today how I do the FG knot. For me personally, I think when you do a lot of braid fishing, the FG knot is most probably the most important knot you should know. I know it's quite a difficult knot, and if you go onto the internet, there's a whole lot of different ways of tying the knot. And I found the easiest way for me to tie the knot is by actually holding the, my main braid in my mouth and then tying the knot from there. So I'll try and explain to you guys how to do it and how I do it and hopefully it makes sense to you and makes the knot easier for you. So how I start the knot is I actually take my main line, put it in my mouth, this line's under tension, and then I'm going to grab the leader or the other braid that I want to attach to this and start off by putting it over this main line. Now it's very important that all of this happens under tension. So the leader line or other braid in your hand must be under tension. The one you're holding your mask will be under tension. And as you make the knot, everything is going to happen under tension. So every time you go over and you pull it tight, it has to happen under tension so the knot can actually clinch. So we're going to start off putting our leader line or the braid, which I'm going to tie to this, over the piece of braid in my mouth. And you're basically going to plait it by pushing it through underneath, come back over. That's to the right hand side. And then I go back to my left hand side and do exactly the same, flat it over. And that's a motion you're gonna carry on doing all the way till the end. All right, so I'm gonna put it in my mouth now and I'm gonna show you guys how I do the knot. So very important when you start off, place your braid your leader braid, which you can attach your main braid over the braid, start from the top. So you just continue the motion of going underneath your braid to the right and over, pulling the knot back, going to your left hand side, underneath your main braid and over. And back to your right, underneath over, left hand side, underneath over. And that's the same pattern you follow all the way through till you've done it 20 to 25 times. So when we've done it 25 times, basically just pinch all knot in your fingers, keep tension on it so nothing unwraps. Put the leader you're attaching to your main line next to it like that, and you'll make one half inch around both the lines. So basically your main braid going back to your reel, plus the piece of leader that you're using. So just a simple little half inch over both. Pull that one there, make sure there's no loops in it. And you make sure everything is secure, and that's basically the FG knot done. So we're just going to finish it off now. Now the very next and very important step is before you carry on with this knot, is to actually check the knot, clinch it, and make sure that your main line clinches to the leader line nice and firmly. A lot of guys skip this process, and then the knot falls apart. So this is must be one of the most important parts of the knot. Make sure you test this knot now, pull it nice and tight, so that where you've plaited, you can actually clinch onto that main line and hold it nice and tight. Because it's a knotless knot, it's actually a clinch knot. So this is a very important part that you have to do. So you grab both ends. If you're scared you're going to cut your hands, you can use some gloves. And then you just pull the knot as hard as you can. And as you can see, 
as I pull it, it just grabs onto that braid and clinches tighter and tighter. So after we've pulled it nice and tight and we know the knot's holding, we unwrap it. And then the next process is to carry on with the half hitches over both the braid. So your leader and your main line. And I like to do another six to ten half hitches over both the braids. So very simple. Just do your half hitches and make sure every single half hitch you pull nice and tight. Pull the little tag in, make sure there's no loops in the line so everything is nice, tight and secure. So we just continue with our little half hitches over both. Pull it tight, grab the tag end, pull both, pull it, secure, and just continue doing that. I'd say for safety, go 10 times. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry and lazy, I do six and they hold. Pull that tag in a bit. So that's our knot done. We plaited it 20 to 25 times and then did six to 10 half inch knots over both the lines and made sure everything is nice and tight and secure. Gave it a good pull initially to clinch the knot. And before I cut off my tag ends, I'm gonna give it another good pull, make sure the knot doesn't break and everything's ready to clean up the knot. So once more, and I know this knot's very strong so I can pull as hard as I can and I know I won't break it. And then all that's left is just take your braid scissors and cut off your tag ends as short as possible. All right, and there's our FG knot done, or the way I do it. As I said, there's lots of different ways out there of doing it. For me, this is the easiest way, the fastest way. And if you're really concerned that it might start unwrapping a bit here, you can use either super glue or not sense or one of those glues I use. Just put a drop on the end here to, to hold it in place. But this is how I use it. So for me, this works like a bomb. And not that I'd really suggest that you try and get used to making, because if you're fishing with braid, this is must be the most important knot to do.